Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through six reasons to consider color note over note 4. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. This is the third and final part of the three part series we started a few weeks ago. So far, we've gone through the similarities between the two apps and 10 reasons Noteful is better than Colonote. We'll have a link to those videos in the description down below. Colonote is a free app, whereas Noteful only has a free version that you can try. After that, it costs $4.99, a one-time purchase, and you keep the app forever. Cheap is expensive though. There's no better way of describing Colonote in terms of the amount of time you will waste dealing with bugs. A lot of things don't always work as they should, which constantly slows you down in Colonote. Both apps don't have native Mac OS apps. They're only available on MacBooks with the M1 series chips. If they're an important part of your workflow, then this is something to note. Noteful has three pen tools, ballpoint, fountain, and brush pen. For each of these, you can save five different sizes that you can adjust anytime you like. Though it seems like Color Note has two pen tools, it actually has one. The second fountain looking pen is actually the first tool with pressure sensitivity turned on. Noteful has a wider thickness range for your pen tools than Color Note. But the reason Color Note has a better pen tool lies in features it has which you don't get in Noteful. These are opacity options, writing sounds that make it feel like you're writing on paper, pencil tool, favorites toolbars, one for all the notes in the app, and another specific for each notebook. Color Note is the first app to ever make that differentiation. In Noteful, your pen colors are easily accessible on the toolbar and you can easily add as many as you like. Now that we can customize our toolbars, let's hope we'll be able to get pen tool size shortcuts. That would make switching between pen sizes a lot easier. In Noteful, you can draw any shape you like, regular or irregular. Color Note only limits you to six regular shapes and no support for irregular ones. Your shape interactions are better in Noteful because you can resize, rotate, and adjust your shapes after you've drawn them. Noteful also lets you change the border color, thickness, and type, fill color, and opacity of the whole shape. It was very difficult to decide which app has a better shapes tool because all things considered, Noteful has an excellent shapes tool. However, Color Note has unique features you don't see in most note taking apps. You can style your shapes fill to be simple or motley with up to four different colors. You can also adjust the opacity of your fill. Color Note might not support irregular shapes, but it can draw impressive curves. 
Drawing proper graphs in the app is very simple, something that would be very difficult in most note-taking apps. You can decide how curvy you want your graph, its thickness, and opacity. It is such a practical tool to have for a note-taking app. You can add interactive links to browse websites right from within the app. It eases extracting notes from websites. Most apps just add a link, and Colonode does that too, in its own unique way. Or you can create a thumbnail. Noteful does not support web links at all, and that's a massive limitation. Where most note-taking apps can only open hyperlinks, Color Note can even create them. You can therefore link to pages in the same notebook to simplify navigation of long notes. Your hyperlinks can be on pretty much anything, handwriting, images, and even blank spaces. Color Note has a massive collection of stickers, especially for a free app. You can also create your own collection in the app. After creating a new sticker pack, you can easily add images from your photos library. Noteful does not support stickers, neither does it let you scan documents into the app. But in Color Note, you can scan documents using the iPad OS scanning engine. We don't recommend using this in note-taking apps though, because it creates very huge files. Not many handwriting note-taking apps have collaboration. Color Note is one of those few, but it's difficult to get started with it almost every single time. Most of the time, it doesn't even work. To stay sane, we pretend Color Note doesn't actually have collaboration. Both Color Note and Noteful have some impressive unique features that you don't find in other note-taking apps. But if we must choose one, we would go for Noteful because it is the app everyone on our team uses for personal and private notes. Noteful is also the most stable app of the two, so we recommend it for anyone serious with their digital note-taking. Which of these apps do you prefer? Do tell. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you check out the other two videos in this series to fully appreciate how these two applications differ. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.